Hello, Edward Demankis, Fame Wong Wing Chun, Bothell, Washington. Today, I want to go over a quick video of the center line punch. Just like that, right? But before I begin, I just want to say real quickly, I hope everyone is safe, happy and healthy, not eating too much. Let's begin. Anyway, so, uh, remember now, structure, touch drills, distancing drills. As long as you have those three major components, you can have many others, but you gotta have structure, touch, and distancing drills. So, the structure, which you, which you can find in our set, some people punch just like this, just straight ahead. If I throw you, show you on my side, it's just like that. Some, again, going back to structure, a little scraping over their forearm. From the side. And then there are people that also practice from underneath. Now, I myself do not practice from underneath. Although there are schools out there that do. What I will say, that each of the, each of the punching just like that, are all good um, and need to be practiced. They all have their own different application method. So given a scenario that occurs, you know, you might prefer scraping from underneath, right? Or um, you might prefer scraping from on top. Or you just might prefer just blasting down the middle. The only way to find out which one works best at every given, whatever scenario that may be, you need your touch drills. You need your distancing drills, right? That's the only way you learn. But remember now, pointer that I brought up, a pointer I brought up in the past. We don't rest our, our hand, secondary hand on our chest, about elbow distance away. Right? Also, never ever bridge on a center line blast. There are just too many guys out there, Wing Chun guys out there, they go chasing their partner, right? And boom, roundhouse punch. Clocks them in the head. And they deserved it because they used a poor technique. They used this technique and they didn't even bother to block, <laughs> right? So, you gotta know, the only way to know that this is not gonna help you with that, touch and distancing drills. So for the structure portion, practice this on your own. It's some breathing. Over, 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 underneath. Like I said, that third one I don't do, but I know that there are guys out there and I don't, I don't discard its validity. I know it works, just there are times when that will work and there are many times that it won't, just like the other two punching drills, right? There are many times it will work up close, your opponent has nowhere to go, bum, 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 bum. that's when you release the multiple chain blasts. Um, other than that, uh, before I end, if you like what you see, the information you like what you hear and you are practicing right subscribe I mean don't just watch yes this is a video for you to see but it's a video for you to practice right so you know practice subscribe and then watch and practice anyway Edward Dumankis Fei Mong Wing Chun signing out